It's over here, actually. This this rings a bell. Ah! Dive, silly boy. Right. Uh, I know you definitely had to swim towards it or something. So where's the tomb? Where's the tomb? Where is the tomb? Maybe you didn't have to swim towards it. Maybe I'm misremembering. Maybe it's that. Is that it? That's probably it, actually. Thinking about it. Huh. They seem to have removed that ability. The, the jump thing that I just did there from some of the later games, which is weird. There it is. Told you you had to swim to get to it. Uh, dive in the face of the face. So yeah, um, Steam Workshop content. Don't know what's in the Steam Workshop yet, but I noticed it had downloaded whilst I was um, um, on my desktop. Doing my stuffs. Right, which, which tomb is this one? Remind me. Whose tomb is it? I don't know, I'm going to do it anyway. Get it out of the way whilst I'm here. Whilst I am here, I think, not 100%, but I think this is one of the ones where you don't have to actually fight anybody. Pretty sure. Infiltrate Rocha di Rival Rivaldino, find the assassin seal hidden within. It's um, one of the Chinese guys, isn't it? Gui something. Or Guan something. Ish. It's not Xiao Jun, I know that much, because she doesn't turn up until later. She actually meets um, Balsaxio in uh, Embers, is it? I think it's Embers. The, the little cartoon. Oh, Furby the face! Yeah, she goes and gets some um, advice from him, because... Okay. That just reminds me, I really... <clears throat> I really need to play Chronicles. Chronicles China, that is. I'm not so... Uh, far f I'm not as interested in India. It does look pretty cool, but um, I'm definitely very interested in Russia, because that's the one you play, where you play Nikolai. The uh, ancestor of... Is that Clay's ancestor? Or... Um, that dude who turns up in Ice Cream 3. Uh, Cross. I think it's Cross's ancestor, actually. Daniel Cross. Mm, can't remember. I've read all the, the background material around that and stuff, but it's been a while. There's a lot of lore in this game series, so... Get under there, you mong. You plankton. Yes, he is a plankton, I have decided. He is indeed a planktonian. Climb it, you fuckwank. You fuckwad. Seriously? Are we really going there? Uh. Can you climb up any higher? No? Alright. Can you grab it this time? Thank you. Why didn't you do that the first time, you dozy Moloch? He's a Moloch. I don't know what a Moloch is, but he is one. I've decided. He is Moloch face. The face of a Moloch. It's kind of like a cross between a Mollusk and a Pollock. Pollock's a fish, in case you didn't know. And a Mollusk is, well, you know, a Mollusk. Oh, there are people here. Fair enough, then. Right, now, if I remember correctly, if I have no weapon selected, don't I just pull him... No, you pull him over anyway. Even if you do have a weapon selected, yeah. I can climb up and jump on him, or I can pull him down. I'm going to pull him down, because it's more fun. Because then he goes splat. Splat! Wee Squish. Oh, dude! Nice! Dispose of the body. Dispose of the body. Body of evidence. Eesh. Body of evidence. Can I get up there? I don't think I have the jump yet, so I shouldn't be able to. Okay, fair dues. I will go this way. 
work for the second dude but he's dead so no biggie they didn't attract the attention of the other dudes seriously all right whatever whatever wait I can't get up there um, okay. where do I go then there's a thing there there's a thing there where does this allow me to does that no it wouldn't let me reach that Nah, there's no way I'm going to reach that. But I might be able to reach the top of the door, maybe? Nope. Up on this. Aha. Uh. That looks a bit like my face. Do something. Do something. Do something. Fine. Uh. Come here, dudes. Uh, uh. Come here, dude. I'm gonna throw you off your face. Whee! Oh, I didn't kill him, it's not far enough. Uh. <laughs> if I keep doing this and he keeps falling off, will he eventually die? From the fall. Let's see. I went this way. Oh. Fine! I will kill you the old fashioned way. Kill, death, murder, kill, death, murder, kill, death, murder. I know it's murder, death, kill, but, you know, kill, death, murder. Okay. So, what did that actually do for me? It brought me to a place I could already reach. That was a bit a higher bit that I could... Aha! Get down, get down! Climb! No! You fuck range. Get. Thank you. Silly boy. My boy. Oh, I hear. I hear. I hear a thing. I hear things. Not that I really need them, but I hear them. Right, let's climb up on this. Because, why not? Uh. This is... Yes. Yes. Fine. Whatever. Whatever. I do not care. Let me just get on with it, please. Let me just get on with it. Thank you. <sighs> oh, what do you think in this Steam Workshop? Do you think it would be like costumes and stuff? I'm surprised that they've done that, actually, because Ubisoft are notoriously resistant to having um, mods and stuff in their games, which I've never understood. I mean, okay, I get that they want to push their own content and stuff, but having allowing people to make custom content actually extends the longevity of most games. People enjoy that kind of thing. It lets them make it their own, you know? It lets them personalize it and stuff. Mods, you know? People like their mods. They lag the mods. They lag them. They lag them a lot. They like playing with the mods. They like modding with the players. They like saying we have a face, but we do not actually have a face when we have a face. We have the face of the people girls with the faces of the face. Yes. The hell am I talking about again? Seriously, why, why does anybody watch me when I'm just talking all this nonsense all the time? Ah, oh, well, whatever. Come on. Come on. Death! In the face. Do you think he's actually killing these people or just knocking most of them unconscious? You know what? I, th I think I might be able to... Yeah, there we go. Is he going to hit me in the butt when I'm climbing up? Merda. Is that like merda in Spanish? Which means... Ah, move. Loosely means fuck, I think. Get up. Or is it like merde in French, which means shit? Merde. It's 
a great way to swear in films if you don't want to offend the censors is to use um, non-English. Come here, dude. Slice. Well, stab, but you know what I mean. Don't be afraid. I am a horse. Let me get his sword. Let me get the big sword. Let me get the big sword. No, let me get the big sword. Let me get the big sword. Let me get the big sword. Let me get. Thank you. And. Slice! 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 I'll slice you in half, man. Ooh! That's gonna hurt. Can I? Yes, I can. Does this allow me to? Yes, it does. Where to next? Over there. And then this away. Cicero! For some reason, whenever I say this away, it always reminds me of Cicero. He was um, a Greek hero, wasn't he? Cicero. I think Cicero was Greek. <coughs> Sounds Greek to me. I mean, I'm not a master of languages. I said I have a bit of a thing for languages, sure, but I'm not a master of them. Right, how do I get up there? Do I have to... Yeah. I have to, like, run up. Yeah, up there. Okay. Can I immediately press it again, or do I have to wait for it to... Ah! Uh. Alright. Yes, I can immediately press it again. Good. Uh. Up we go. And that way. And that way. And that way. Yeah, we should be through here. Ooh. And we're done. And no, it's not the guy I thought it was. It is the archer, but he's not the. Is he the? Or is he Persian? Now that'd be an interesting um, idea. Prince of Persia meets Assassin's Creed. <coughs> it's about time they brought um, Prince of Persia back, actually. I know that the um, the last one wasn't too well received. I really enjoyed it. I mean, I get that the uh, the whole releasing the end as a DLC, but that wasn't their original plan. Because it was supposed to be the part of a trilogy, but because it didn't do so well, they just did the DLC instead to finish it off. So, you know. Cool and gal. Okay, it was the guy I thought it was, though. Fair enough. Mongolian, that's why it is. He's a, Mon he's a Mongol, not Chinese. That's why he doesn't look stereotypically... Oh, <laughs> typically Chinese, depending on how you want to look at it. Because he's part of the Mongol hordes. He would fall from the sky in a fire, fiery inferno. Yeah, that was one of those things they pointed to. What was it? Um, not Leonardo. That philosopher who supposedly predicted the end of the world. Not Rasputin. He was German. That... Oh, what was his name? Nostradamus. <clears throat> uh, so from what I understand, the, the prediction he actually made is that the Mongols would fall from the sky in a fiery inferno. And people... Okay. People took that to mean... Um, uh, meteors would... Meteors would come and kill everybody. Do you know what I think when they say Mongols falling from the sky in a fiery inferno? Is Mongolian people parachuting down at sunset. You know, when the sky is on fire. Or sunrise, but from the direction that the sun came from anyway. That's what I think of when they do that. <coughs> when they say that. Abatia dan... Di San Mercuriale. The tower of the Abbazia de whatever, with its height of 75 metres, is one of the tallest in Italy. The first church on the site was destroyed by fire in 1173. The present structure was built with brick in the Lombard Romanesque style and took only seven years, making it one of the most miraculous construction jobs in the history of Italy. The colonnade to the right of the church is part of the Abbey's cloister. First things. God, I'll fucking eat my ass. First things first. Die! Out of my face. Come on. Get dead. 
on up. Get dead. On up. You. Get dead. Boom. Boom. What's his mission all about? Boom. Uh. Boom. Face of death. Boom. Boom. Ah, letter delivery. Right, well, first of all, I'm going to grab all the stuff. <coughs> I do apologise about this. Right. Where are my lockets? I know I had them around here somewhere. There they are. I'm going to have a locket. It'll help with my throat. I'll just stand here and do nothing whilst I'm grabbing it. Did I just hear a bloom of somebody seeing me for a split second? Or was it just part of the music the incidental sounds <coughs> yeah. mm, that's better but it will be right now then oh yeah I forgot you can't run a strike these things okay first things first shut up let's actually let's should be there it is I knew it was around here somewhere Right, first things first. Let's grab that. I think I have to climb up the outside, though. Uh, yeah, I have to climb up here. And then get to the inside. Can I get up there? No. Sod off. Uh, can I go up there? Yes, I can. Because they see there's a flag thing there that I can climb on. Which of you peasants saw what happened? Yeah, maybe not. Sod off! I have no idea what you are talking about, dude. Shut up. Uh, up here? There we go. <clears throat> There's one you could climb up the outside somewhere, though. Oh, never mind. Woof! Why would anyone care Are you eating my balls right now? Seriously? <sighs> Go away. Okay, let's do this again. <clears throat> Frank Coil. Oh, 30 grand now. Claudia will be able to get some spending cash soon. She's earned it. She's he's making me work. Yes. <clears throat> I like Claudia. Well, do I have to? Yeah, I do. I have to go into Eagle Vision. Thank you. Which one's this? I just an archive. Access to. 917 <clears throat> um. Okay I need some kind of 4 equals 1, right Makes nine. <coughs> <coughs> then that makes nine six, right? Or does it make it two? That make it, makes it two, doesn't it? Two, four, zero. Yeah, here we go. Dear Mr. Morgan, a serious matter has come to my attention. Nikola Tesla plans to use PE4 to create an information network across the entire world. They don't mean plastic explosive, they mean piece of Eden, number four. Using plastic explosive to create an information network would be fucking awesome, to be honest, but that they don't mean that. And if that weren't bad enough, he intends to allow access to it for free. The internet. Imagine the masses spreading knowledge amongst themselves instantaneously. That would make everything we intend to do much more difficult. No, no it wouldn't. It makes things a lot easier because people are morons. Jet fuel can't bend steel beams. 
You must cut all funds for his experiments at once. In case you get cold feet, I'll have you know he wants to make electricity free as well, thereby putting us out of business. I've already begun slandering Tesla in the press. Just reallocate his funding and I'll take care of P for myself. Sincerely yours, Thomas A. Edison. Ah. <sighs>